here. Uh, our forward-looking statement, um, uh, since we've been here a few times, uh, I'm going to give a very broad overview. Uh, what we're trying to do is to use our proprietary hydrogel technology to be able to change uh, how medicines are given to the eye, going from pulse therapies, which means eye drops and frequent injections, to one and done or once in several months type of placements for the anterior segment diseases and injections that could be once in six months for the back of the eye for anti-VEGF agents. We also have a commercially approved product, the Reshore Sealant, which is the only product of its kind uh, to be approved by the FDA. We already talked a lot about non-compliance with drops. I think uh, there's a couple of other points to make that successful therapy is a partnership between the physician and the patient. If we could transfer that control to the hands of the physician and not have the patient uh, be the source of error, it would be much better because there are, as you can see, a number of uh, errors that can creep in because patients are not able to or not willing to or, or cannot accurately administer the therapy. Plus, because eye drops typically are multi-dose, they have preservatives in them, which means we oftentimes create another problem when we are trying to solve one problem. So if we could create a compliant, preservative-free solution uh, which has transfers controls to the hand of the physician, we are much better off. And this is the message that has resonated from some of the uh, market research that we have done that compliance certainly is an issue, but control within the hands of the physician would be much better off. And if all of these could be preservative free, that would be great. So what are we doing about it? We are accessing uh, three primary markets right now, but the technology is capable obviously of being uh, more broadly applicable. Dextenza, which is our first product, is a corticosteroid that is uh, delivered in a tapered fashion over a one month uh, period. And many diseases in ophthalmology have an inflammatory basis. Uh, so we are looking for indications of post-surgical pain and inflammation, uh, dry eye, as well as uh, allergy. And we have uh, uh, quite a bit of progress made in this area. The other two areas that we're looking at are in the field of glaucoma, as we just talked about, where compliance remains a major unmet need. We're developing a three month delivery system for that. And the final one is an intravitreal delivery of anti-angiogenic agents. So Dextenza, talking briefly about it, is uh, delivered simply within a 10, 15 second uh, kind of a simple placement. It's a long, thin uh, rod, which is uh, put into the vertical canaliculus, shrinks in length, expands in diameter, locks itself in, delivers a one month self-tapering dose of the corticosteroid. Uh, and then is safely absorbed. It can be visualized by uh, a cobalt filter, so fairly easy to see, and uh, no removal is needed. We have uh, uh, a PDUFA date expected for the post-surgical pain indication in July. Uh, following up allergy, we finished our first phase three trial, second phase three trial is finished and rolling, and we expect results on that in a couple of months. For post-surgical inflammation, we have a large study which is almost fully enrolled now, and we expect to file that amendment by early next year. Uh, when we present this information to ophthalmologists, uh, the resounding message that we get back is that almost 80% of them think this is going to be the new standard of care. There is no reason why one would not treat patients with this. Uh, going forward to OTXTP, which is our glaucoma product, it's a once in three month. Here we design it to give the same amount of medicine every day. Uh, so up to three months of uh, delivery. And again, it uh, is uh, got a number of microparticles in it which release out travoprost, and it is designed to be absorbable, although it is designed to be in place for three months and then be replaced after that. Uh, we have completed multiple clinical trials. I don't have time to go over data over here, but suffice to say we've seen clinically relevant five plus millimeters of lowering of intraocular pressure in these multiple trials. And we've had discussions with the FDA and we've gotten clear guidance from them as to the path to move forward where no eye drops will be required, no comparator arm like Timolol will be required. So I think it's a very achievable target, very fair target, and we look forward to commencing these trials in the next quarter or so. Uh, OTX IVT, uh, this is a technology that has, uh, now we are using to deliver six months of anti-VEGF agents. For proteins, you need to deliver a large amount of protein. And how do you do it through a small needle? This is technology that uh, for the first time ever that uh, anybody is seeing in the public domain right now, which is a shape memory hydrogels. People can make shape memory metals. We are making shape memory hydrogels that will self-coil themselves, so we'll go through a very fine needle and to be able to deliver up to three milligrams of anti-VEGF agents uh, in the eye. And we're gonna be developing this in conjunction with the leading partner. And for the TKI program, I don't have time to go over it, but we have uh, up to six months of data uh, on the protein delivery side, just this slide shows that in a Dutch belted anti-VEGF 
uh, kind of delivery model, we're able to reduce uh, or eliminate uh, leakage, vascular leakage, out to three months uh, with this. So lots going on. We're in the business of trying to transform ophthalmic therapies, uh, ophthalmic care with sustained therapies. So thank you for your attention.